Following the approval of the hike in electricity tariff by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, customers in the Band A category who receive 20 hours and above supply of electricity will now have to pay 225 naira per kilowatt hour against the 66 naira payable before the hike. This directive, which came amidst backaches endured by Nigerians as a result of the removal of fuel subsidies, foreign exchange crises, and high inflation rates, has been heavily criticized by the citizens. We are even complaining about the rate of things, how things are going. So I don't think that increasing the increasing electricity tariff is the best option comparing to what is happening in this country now. If government did not put themselves in all that nonsense embed that they are talking, if they just did like the telecoms people, the first SIM I bought was was more than, I think, 15,000 or 30 something thousand. That you buy it with the phone. Today, SIM is 100 naira. Okay? So the government should have let this electricity, when they did that restructure in that time, and they put PHCN, unbundled the NEPA, they leave the thing to run on its own speed. Let us buy the appropriate price. So when, if, if assets still keep coming, then price drop like, like the telecoms. So why all these, some greedy people put themselves in the middle, thinking they are helping anybody. Now they cannot help anybody again. So anybody is inside the ocean. I used to pay NEPA B, 5,000, 4,000 sometimes. But sometimes, sometimes when I have my, my life, we used to have sharing, sharing of lights. Three days on, one day off. That three days on serve, I will, that three days on serve, I will not be sure of lights. In the middle of the afternoon, every night there is no light heat. When I was born in Cameroon, in Kumba, for Kumba. I live in Cameroon, Kumba, Bamin, and Douala. But see, and that, those states now, they have steady lights. They have consistent light. But this Nigeria now, we have, we have passed this level of, we have passed this level of light issue. What are you supposed to talk about this light issue nowadays? Not take three men in a day again. Okay, what we are managing to be able to sustain our life and then find, okay, the light is not, they are still removing subsidies on light again. The hardship that we are facing in this Nigeria right now is I so alarming. So, the major thing is that even the light, we are not seeing the light. Talk less of to even increase the tariff. So, it's, we are not finding it so funny for this country. We are facing a lot of hardship. While the government pushes towards maintaining and improving the supply of electricity across all customer categories, some of our respondents bemoaned that the increment in tariff will affect the productivity of businesses across the country. If there's public outcry to the point, if simple people like uh, confectionery people who boo big, people who use electricity like even business centers, all these hairdressers, if they cannot see the light and they cannot also buy petrol because the price is high. Uh, we might end up having a whole load of unemployment in our hands again. I, I can assure you, and that will be more dangerous. Normally now, they will, have, they will increase the uh, price of their products because they make use of electricity, and whereby the tariff is high. The higher the tariff, the higher the product as well. Coming to the company, that it will affect once it affects all those companies, it directly affects us. Because me, I believe that most of the companies that are operating here, they are all using electricity. So once they increase the tariff or the electricity, uh, electric, electrical tariff or electricity tariff, it will make them, it will cause them to increase the price of their commodity, the price of the things that they pro produce. We that is consuming, we that is buying, it will affect us highly. It can even affect the customers that are even buying from them. Because once the high reason is cost, it will affect the customer. It will reduce the quality of the and the quantity of the production. Meanwhile, in justifying the hike, the Minister of Power Adilabu Adibayo mentioned that 67% of the cost of generating and distributing of power is subsidized by the government, which amounted to a total of 645 billion naira in 2023 and is projected to hit 2 trillion naira in 2024. Or is it safe to argue that the government's introduction of multiple policies is taking a toll on the people? Let us know in the comments. From the Center of Excellence, Khalid Bada for Guardian TV.